Is it a mistake to say, train every day and you'll make faster progress? Or perhaps those who say, daily practice will cause overload and stagnation of progress. It's not that simple. So, I will share my 12 years of experience calisthenics and inciting from other top-level athletes with whom I have trained adopting their methods. In some cases, everyday workouts are not only allowed but will also benefit you. For instance, when training to improve health, daily physical activity without pushing to the maximum can be helpful. This typically involves easy or medium loads without reaching failure, often for a large number of repetitions, around 20 or more. One day might focus on pull-ups and dips, the next on running and the following on stretching or strength workouts in the gym. It all depends on the periodization of the exercise load. Additionally, when preparing for competitions, a short-term daily approach with different loads is justified. However, even with very easy workouts, 20-30% to 30 of the maximum, daily for several weeks or months the nervous system can tire, the immune system may weaken, and frequent cold may ensue, especially for unprepared person. Even if your muscles and joints are not subjected to heavy workouts and have time to rest, it can be mentally challenging to perform a variety of exercises every day without proper recovery, leading to accumulated moral fatigue. Individual differences among athletes play a significant role. Therefore, it's sometimes beneficial to give your body a break and change your physical activity. If you can't go without training, consider switching to another sport or taking a complete break and going for a walk. But can you make progress in your results with this daily approach to fitness? But can you make progress in your results with this daily approach to fitness? We'll find out a little later. Certain types of workouts are not recommended for a daily practice over an extended period. Joints and the nervous system may not endure, leading to the risk of serious injuries. If your goal is to gain muscle mass, it's better to avoid daily workouts and give you muscles more rest. Also, some natural athletes train 5 to 6 times a week. Not every workout is intense. It's crucial to alternate the difficulty of your workout as a percentage of your maximum. Athletes, if you are interested in ordering an ebook with my training experience over 12 years of calisthenics, just write me a private message and I will tell you the details on how to get the book. Or if you are interested in training routine. The link to my contact is below the video. And also subscribe to the Telegram channel, so you don't miss additional content on this channel. For beginners in calisthenics, daily workouts can be effective for the first few months or with one or two days off per week, as the muscles respond better to the load. However, the workload may become too much over time, risking injury or slowed progress. Muscle growth requires rest, including factors like sleep, massage, proper nutrition, and outdoor walks with active best time for recovery. When I first learned the front lever a long time ago, I tried it every day with about 5 seconds of holding. The result was elbow pain, leading to several weeks of rest due to an overloaded tendon. Long-term training and holding position, like a handstand for a 1 minute or longer, allow for more frequent workouts, as such workload becomes routine and requires less muscle stress, leading to faster recovery. For individual working 12 hours a day with additional responsibilities, finding time for a full workout can be challenging. However, scheduling short morning session with warm-ups can be a feasible option. 
While daily training is possible, correctly separating the volume of workloads and experimenting with methods that work for you is crucial. Full-fledged long workouts every day can lead to stiffness, fatigue, and drowsiness. Consider your goal, whether it's building muscles, increasing endurance, or improving strength, or gymnastic elements. Let's analyze daily workouts using the example of increase the number of pull-ups, basic workouts every other day or every two days with approaches to the maximum, and rest without failure and effective. On other days, incorporate easy loads without reaching the maximum with a volume of 20 to 30 percent of the maximum and two to four sets. Use a rubber band for pull-ups on easy days to aid recovery. Another example is volume splitting is training. Pull-ups and abdominal exercises one day, leg workouts the next day, dips or push-ups and ABS on the third day, and stretching or running on the fourth day. Repeat this cycle with three to four sets per exercise. Adjust repetition while ensuring that volume of intensity increases gradually for progress. For improving health, daily low-dose physical activity is recommended by doctors. To avoid muscle and nervous system overload, leave a reserve of strength at each workout, distributing capabilities throughout the week. The reason is that humanity used to live in discomfort for a long time and had to do everything with its hands to feed itself. So, those who grow up they live in villages work harder physically. And as a rule, garden lovers are well motivated and can be take care of themselves until old age. In cities you have to force yourself to exert extra effort for the sake of your health. I am referring more to office workers and those engaged in intellectual labor. 60 to 70 percent of maximum should be working sets, with one set for maximum effort. One easy days perform 20 to 30 percent of the maximum load without maximum sets. If you choose daily physical activity for health, make it a part of your routine, just like sleeping eating and brushing your teeth. Starting with at least 15 minutes a day can help form the habit. Focus on a few exercises, such as pull-ups, dips and leg workouts. And progress will come with time. Have you found daily workouts suitable for you? How did you distribute the load? And what did you do on easy and hard days? Write to comments. If you have any question about the video or the athletes, feel free to leave a comment. By the way, I have been engaged in calisthenics since 2011. I began coaching people online in 2019, assisting individuals from different countries in achieving their body weight fitness goals. You can write to me via the contact details provided under the video. Additionally, consider supporting my YouTube channel with a donation, and I'll send you a book detailing my workout experience. This book covers workout mistakes and nutrition advice. You can find the link to the my contact information in pinned comments beneath the video or in the video description. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay updated on new videos.